Mr. Birdnell, it's time to make a sequel to the DK Oldies NES video. We're now gonna open up and unbox a PlayStation 2 that's refurbished, allegedly, from DK Oldies. <laughs> Is DK Odis a scam? No. Skip it up and that up. Hey everybody, this video is brought to you by these beautiful birds and ExpressVPN. And let me ask you a question. Do you play video games online? I do. I suck at them, but I do. Well, if you play video games online, you're going to want ExpressVPN, and here's why. Have you ever played a game online that only lets you play on servers with people from the same country or region? Some games even launch earlier in different countries and may even be cheaper or have different in-game items. Well, let's say, for example, you're playing Call of Duty with someone on an unencrypted connection and you make them angry. You beat them in Team Deathmatch, for example. Well, if your connection is unencrypted, they could find out your IP address and do a DDoS, which is a distributed denial of service attack, and stop your internet from working. It's happened to me before. Well, ExpressVPN actually masks your IP address so players can't find it and DDoS you or find out where you live. You can also choose where you want to be located so you can bypass any kind of geo restrictions and connect to servers closer to you, which helps reduce ping times and overall lag. ExpressVPN is super simple to use. Literally the press of a button and your internet experience is fully protected. Go to expressvpn.com slash RTU to find out how you could get three months free. That's expressvpn.com slash RTU to find out how you could get three months free. Link below in the description. So my other video kind of made, made some waves happen. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm just a man on the internet. But it made some ripples go across the internet, basically calling DK Oldies frauds, which I still hold to. Now, there was one mistake I made in that video. Still doesn't affect the outcome. Uh, Nintendo, or the Nintendo Entertainment System, actually did use Phillips screws. <laughs> However, they had screws missing and that system was not refurbished. It was not what I paid for. The controller did not work and it was dirty as hell. Well, okay, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most dirty, it was like a seven. The motherboard was okay, but it was, it was a complete ripoff and an absolute joke that they sold that to me for that price with a not working controller on top of it. Well, Due to popular demand and due to the Phil May 1st fapping bird being in my presence, I bring to you a PlayStation 2 from DK Oldies. Now, yeah, I, I didn't unbox it yet, but the box is open, but I'm not lying to you. It's from D here, 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 here. DK Oldies, you see it? Original DualShock controller, PlayStation 2, coupon for the next order. Yay. Where'd that go? Oh, my keyboard cares. Okay. So we got some organic peanuts here. I'm so glad I just vacuumed. You could still hear them getting over COVID. That was fun too. That's why this video took longer. There are peanuts going everywhere. I... I blame you for all these nuts. <laughs> all right, so we got cord. We got what's supposed to be an original controller, Dual Shock. I didn't want none of that third party crap. We got our AV cables. We got peanuts all over my Brush. floor, but that's okay. All right, so, well, that's the main event is I wanted a fat console anyway. Those, that's the one I have the most nostalgia for. That was kind of like, you know, I always say during my gaming hiatus. So this is the one that I had. I never had a slim. First hand, I should say. All right, so we got a controller here. And, uh... I'm not being an idiot. I'm feeling to see if there's any stickiness. No, no stickiness. They didn't clean it, though. You know how I could tell they didn't clean it? Because, like, the small engraved wording back here, I see, like, some, some brown. 
Is DK Odie's a scam? No. I just want to show this is the context just so you understand. Like, oh, it's, it's not a big deal. All the buttons seem to be pressing down just fine. Well, first off, I don't know if they actually work yet because the NES controller felt fine too. Didn't work. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? I mostly. Yeah, all gone. All gone. What was that? Minus there's a little dust from the cloth. What was that? Uh, 20 seconds worth of work? Not even done. But okay, admittedly, the controller, everything is clicking down okay. Start, select. Feels fine. They didn't refurbish this though. I did a better job refurbishing this in 20 seconds than they did sending this to me for after shipping and everything, 260 bucks roundabout. All right, so we got our cords. We oh, okay, 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 okay. No, there's come on it. Why do you come? What is going on here? Yeah, you're seeing. Why is there like a layer of film? Oh come on, man! Like I don't understand DK oldies. Like. Wouldn't the 4D chat like is are you doing this to try to go viral where it's like yeah Let's send the content creators the crappy consoles is is that what you, but wouldn't it make more sense to send like content creators the clean ones so Customers think they're going crazy like well, rich review tech USA got a nice PlayStation 2 Why does mine look like it was shoved up that blonde guy's ass is DK Odie's a scam? No, and then I can be like, oh no mine was perfectly clean Look look look. I'm literally using this wipe and it's I've already done. Let it dry. Let it dry This this is a wipe meant for glasses and like phone screens and all I did was go hubba da hubba da hubba da Why? Why couldn't that even be done? Why couldn't that even be done? What was what was this like five cents of time? Like are we cutting that many? Yes, of course they're cutting that many corners and they're using me to help them make money in a way I guess you could say. I mean it looks better than before but we got a gouge right here and then the like why didn't you or did they sand this? And why is the color of it changing when I move my oh man. All right, let's look at the fan in the back here. Doesn't look bad. Uh, the AV multi port is broken. It may actually function, but it's it's toast. Look, why is this? And this is like bulging, dude. Where the power supply is? Are they kidding me? I'm. F this is definitely, definitely. I don't even know if I'm gonna open it because I want a refund. All right, it plugs in. Yeah, D sticker take that sticker and shove it up here you didn't do anything to this thing look at this how do you charge even if this was all right you want to sell this for like a hundred bucks or we did what we could with it i'm i'm gonna take bets that this av multi-out works but holy god you got the top the top of it that looks like someone spooge all over it the fan doesn't look bad admittedly we got our expansion bay there it looks clean in there how do you sell this at this price when th that ev multi-port what happened how do the buttons feel in front fine usb ports do i have something usb a i could shove in there just to make sure they feel okay yes i do oh it's micro now if i was actually looking for a micro usb cable i would never find one okay so okay Oh yeah, I forgot the fat PS2 at Firewire. Rest in peace, Firewire. Apple was pushing that for a long time. All right, let's see if it controller, how it feels when it plugs in. So again, I'll show you all the buttons in front feel okay. Memory card, the uh, springs on those are working all right. USB 1.1, and there is the expansion bay. You could actually, that was for putting uh, broadband if you wanted to play on PlayStation that was the beginnings of the PlayStation Network you had to buy an expansion to have internet connection to the original fat PS2 you have your optical digital audio out your power in power switch and the very bent AV multi out you got your disk draw here controller ports and yeah, let me make sure All right, those feel 
They feel a little loose, actually, but... Oh, no. Ah, oh, I... Wait. Yeah. There's something. There's stuff rattling around the inside of it. There's stuff rattling around the inside of it. Ah, oh, okay. Um, now before I have my dad open this because proprietary consoles with mechanical disk drives, I'll admit is out of my league. I'll build you a computer. I can even take apart a laptop. I just don't feel comfortable with this. But before my dad opens this to see the refurbishing that they did inside, I am going to hook it up and see if it works first because I don't want them to say that my father and I broke it. Anyway, so I'm going to get this set up to capture. Then we'll crack it open and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I think you know what I'm gonna say though. Okay, I thought maybe it would be a smart idea to test if the basic functionality of the PlayStation 2 works. So uh, we will start by powering it on. That could be because I had it vertical, but why would it do that? Is DK Odie's a scam? No. They they have to be doing this on purpose. They they abs. I don't believe that they're not. Th this has to be some kind of 4D chess. Why would you? It's making a noise like it's it's having a bowel movement. Oh, Rich, they they have a good return policy. Why are they sending two out of two have been bad? The NES and this. I'm gonna put a disc in. I'm gonna set it up to capture. See if it captures. At least see if it plays a game. At least see if they went that far to check it. All right, as you see, the PlayStation 2 works. Uh, the disk drive begrudgingly uh, took God of War. That did take a while to load, though. Yeah, you know how I know that took a while? Because it was going to go to the options menu like I didn't have a disk in there. So, <laughs> this thing is in rough shape. I don't know what's going to happen with the controller here. This is God of War, like I said. So whatever, let's play a little bit, see if it crashes. The video output, even though the AV multi out, even though it's working, as you see, <laughs> was completely messed up. This thing was not refurbished in any way, shape, or form. If it was refurbished, those two things would have been addressed. The disk drive on this fat PS2, I give it like a month if you had regular use before it stopped working. You could hear that the gears are messed up, which is probably what that shaking piece of plastic was in there. Man, this HDMI box I have is pretty rough, huh? Does not do the PS2 justice picture-wise. I absolutely got robbed on this PlayStation 2. I could have easily found one in better shape, not even refurbished for the same price, if not cheaper. This company is disgusting. dusty you can see nobody wiped it out yeah this has never been dusted if you look oh here's a here's a square thing a whole spot back here whole spot back here you can't yeah with that lighting you're not going to see that no they saw it up front look at the squares you see it yeah let me do this one yeah look look at this square next to it look at that yeah. one i don't think they touched in here do you think they touched in no there? no they would have been fingerprints all over the top of that in the dirt that was there. Yeah. You, no. would, you would have seen people's fingers. Mine are there. Now, hey, look on the side. You see dust here? Where I'm touching it? Sorry. It was all dusty. So, yeah, this has never been open. This has never oh. once been open. No. Not at all. Oh, nobody's had the drive out, that's for sure. No, no, no. Can you see my finger? Look. Yeah, did you see all the dust? Yeah, we're not going to go with the full disassembly because obviously they did not clean it and this is just natural dust for being in someone's home luckily this wasn't 
doesn't seem like it was in a smoker's home. Um, but you never know. Looking back here at this, tons of dust on the uh, fan. So, no, no refurbishing done on a console that you spent extra money on, a significant amount of extra money on to be refurbished. Here's another thing they didn't refurbish. This is where the controller ports are. Look at the top. We did not do that. That was cracked. So the DK Oldies PlayStation 2, um, it wasn't refurbished. This wasn't even, this is beyond cosmetically flawed. You saw where the joystick ports were, were cracked. This was not cleaned inside. There was a layer of dust. If this was freshly refurbished, or refurbished at all, there would have been no dust inside. Um, I, I don't know what else I could say about DK Oldies. I, I don't really understand what they're trying to do. Maybe this is their 4D chess, like I've said before. Give YouTubers bad products, gets people to talk about them. Videos get a ton of views and they still get traffic anyway, but you want a bad reputation. So I don't know what to say. I don't know what their intentions are by sending out crap products, but DK Oldies, again, is a scam. Uh, do not buy their refurbished products because they're lying to you. They're not refurbished. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.